Hey, happy Friday, and welcome to the Friday Funnies. Let me start with a question. Cold enough for you? You know, my honest answers to that when I was a kid, whenever I was asked by my Uncle Lugie, you know, they've become family legend, and they've prepared me for a life of snappy retorts. Now, whenever, I've, whenever I'm asked, is it cold enough for you? I have several answers on the ready. A funny yet puzzling answer is, well, actually, I'm from Canada where it's minus 18 degrees Celsius right now, so you should count your blessings it's this warm here. And then walk away while the other person stares at you and tries to figure out exactly what just happened. Then my second stock answer is simply, yes, it is cold enough for me. Is it stupid enough for you? And finally, the last resort retort. And this is when you're asked by your neighbor like three, four days in a row, is it cold enough for you? Well, no, Bob. Actually, I found your wife to be anything but. Cold weather, of course, brings snow. And people either love it or they hate it. If you love it, enjoy it. If you hate it, you know, move. It's that simple. My complete thoughts on snow can be found at this week's blog, available right here at daleirvin.com slash blog. So snow or no snow, here are the Friday Funnies. Chris McCabe is a butcher in Houghton's, England. I believe that's the right pronunciation. Anyhow, he got trapped in his walk-in freezer this week. Apparently, the wind blew the door shut and the, the emergency safety button was frozen. So McCabe was stuck in a freezer with a temperature of minus 22 degrees Celsius, which would be, you know, warmer over here. It's only minus 4 Fahrenheit. Anyhow, he tried pounding on the frozen button, then he tried kicking it, and it wouldn't budge. So he grabbed his sausage, specifically his 3.3 pound, which is 1.5 kilograms, frozen black pudding blood sausage. Mmm, that sounds good, huh? Anyhow, using this frozen meat club as a battering ram, he was unable, or he was able, rather, to unstick the button and free himself. And in gratitude, Chris took the sausage home for dinner. Is there nothing they can't do? Well, when that uh, line was uttered by Homer Simpson, he was referring to donuts, but I think the same phrase applies to Japanese scientists. They have a problem in Japan with the deer that graze near the railroad tracks. And since Japanese trains are both quiet and fast, this can pose quite the predicament. So to solve it, they invented the talking train. That's right, a new technology system will blast the sounds from the train of barking dogs and snorting deer. This is designed to scare the deer away and prevent collisions. Personally, I'd like to have this technology installed in my car. Then if somebody gets too close to me, I press the button and my car will, will begin barking and snorting. And trust me, other cars will then stay away from me. <coughs> A group of American scientists, apparently with too much time on their hands, has issued a warning that the Earth will soon be destroyed by the planet Nibiru. Nibiru, also known as Planet X in science language. Anyhow, it's scheduled to make a crash landing on Earth sometime in 2018. And I'm thinking, holy cannoli, you know, that's right around the corner. And I wonder if the people of Planet X are aware of this impending doom for them. As I see it, the only chance we have to repel Nibiru is to blast sounds of barking dogs and snorting deer into outer space. If that doesn't work, grab a frozen sausage and hold on. <laughs> hey folks, that's it for uh, the end of week number three of 2018. Enjoy these funnies, pass them along to others, and be back here next Friday for week number four.